Hi, in this video I will demonstrate some really interesting AI automation workflows that you can use for business or research. They are in fact very useful because they allow you to identify the gaps in the market or in a research discourse and find how you can contribute in a way where you would bring new ideas in or where you would bring a new product to the market that doesn't exist yet but that responds to the customer's needs. So if you're interested, keep watching and I will demonstrate how it works. We'll be using three different tools, make.com, Infranodos, and also ChatGPT. I will show you how you can combine them together. But first, a few words about myself. I'm Dimitri, I'm the developer of Infranodos, text network analysis tool. I've been working on it for the last 10 years or more. And basically it's a tool that allows you to represent information as a knowledge graph, identify the main topics inside visually, interact with this graph, find uh, how ideas connect, what are the gaps between them, and generate some in really interesting insights based on those gaps. So we'll be showing today how we can apply Infranodus and use Infranodus's API to create a workflow inside make.com, generate some really interesting ideas for content research, and then uh, use those ideas to generate some content in ChatGPT or to start writing about the topic you're interested in. Also, if you think of any other workflows that you're interested in, please leave a comment to this video and also please subscribe to this channel so that uh, this video can get recommended to other people interested in the same content. So first of all, what is make.com? If you don't know it yet, it's an AI automation tool, a little bit like Zapier, that allows you to connect different apps in a workflow to achieve certain results. For example, here you have a template that was created with Infranodos AI app inside Make that takes uh, some search queries from Google Sheets, analyzes search results for those search queries, then sends them to Infranodus to generate the main topics for them and some insights and save it back into the spreadsheet. So you start from something like this here, where you just have the search queries listed, and then you get something like this, where you have loads of information, which you can then use for your marketing strategy, or if you're doing a research that you can use for research. In fact, I will show you later how you can analyze 10 different research papers at the same time using the same approach. And this is basically the advantage of make.com because you can, of course, do all this with Infranodus, and it's great because it allows you to work with each doc document separately. But the advantage of make.com is that you can actually do all those actions in a bulk. So if you want to perform the same analysis for, for like 10 different search queries or 20 different research papers, you can actually do it faster here, get some results and then feed them back into Infranodus and then run the analysis on them. So let me show you first how make.com works so you understand the principles of its operation. You have so-called scenarios inside Make. This is where you will probably go or also templates. So if you click on templates, um, you will see some templates available there. And if you would like to use the Infranodus templates directly, you can actually find them on the Infranodus side. If you go to About and then API, click here and then Make No Code Integrations button and then click Install and it will propose you to install it into your organization and then they will appear in your templates. Uh, so when you go to team, team templates, you will see different templates available here. I will start the demonstration from CO, reveal the current informational supply. In fact, search engine optimization is a topic that is underestimated by people who are not into it. Because, in fact, it's not only for marketers. If you're writing research, if you want to know more about a certain topic, you should be doing search engine optimization stuff because it allows you to analyze search results and search queries in the bulk to understand what people find when they search for something and what they search for. And then if you target the gap between what people search for and what they find, you will be sure to get in front of as many eyes as possible because you will be offering something that people search for, that they need, that there is a demand for, but that doesn't exist yet. So this is why this, uh, this approach and this workflow is so useful. And I will demonstrate how it works first using the, this one that analyzes the current informational supply. So the way that make.com functions is that you create some kind of sequences of actions, but you can also have templates where those sequences were generated for you, like I did in this case using Google Sheets and Infranodus. And the way that it works is that you make a connection with your Google Sheets, like I did here, and then you find the spreadsheet that you would like to use. You say that you would like to use the sheet topic supply. So that sheet is here, topic supply. And I'll just delete all this stuff so you can see how, how it works. And then I say that I want to analyze only those cells from A2 to A5. So here it shows me A2, A5. 
I go back here, I say that I want to analyze A2, A5, and then the next step is to get those search queries that you can see here on the left into an app that can generate search results for them. I like to use data for CO. I actually don't like sharing it because it's one of the best and cheapest tools for this kind of stuff. Um, I would rather that people don't know about it, but it's okay. <laughs> you can use it and it's great. I'm not affiliated by them. Uh, I'm not getting paid by them, but it's great because it's cheap. You pay 50 bucks and you can use it for the whole year and it's really good. And uh, what you do here is that you make a connection with data for co I think they give you a few bucks for free when you start using it, so you don't need uh, to even pay at the beginning. And then you say, analyze this keyword. That's already going to be pre-filled in our templates. You say which location you want in English, uh, desktop results, and so on. And then the only thing that you will need to do is to go into Infranodus and then choose the connection. If you don't have the connection yet, you will need to go to your Infranodus subscription page here. Uh, let me log in and show you where it is. So you will log in and then you will go into subscription here and then just copy this API key and add it into the connection here. And then you're ready to go. And look what happens here. As soon as I launch it, right, so I click run, what happens is that it gets those keywords, uh, search queries from the Google Sheet. Then it sends them to data for CO, which is uh, this tool that extracts search results for this query, right? And then some, some data operation to convert it in the right format, and then it sends it to Infranodus, and then Infranodus analyzes it, extracts the topics, generates research questions, and saves it into Google Sheets. So in the end, you actually have something like this, which is really amazing. Look, already while I've been talking, it generated for each search query the main topics. So we see that when you search for AI automation, you find stuff on AI, synergy, future progress, automate workflow, uh, and so on. Main clusters of keywords, so that's useful for search engine optimization. Also a list of keywords, word combinations. So for example, we see that people search a lot for, or they find a lot of stuff on work data, product, decide, deciding how something works, and so on. And then these are the gaps, so the two topics that could be better connected. Future progress, automate workflow. So you can also think of a connection yourself. Uh, how can we ensure that there's progress happening in the future by automating workflows and writing content about this, right? So some kind of like projections that can be investment advice or maybe some ideas for the technology that could be invented and so on. And here it generates actually a question. So here it says, how can the integration of Zapier, I think it means Zapier into existing workflows, automate decision-making process and product development, transforming the future of work by leveraging embedded data and browser bots for repetitive tasks. So it's kind of like how we can use automation to develop products, uh, but by also using some automation browser. So that can be really interesting because as we browse content, maybe we highlight the stuff we like and generally it learns what we're interested in and then it generates some product ideas. So you see already just from this analysis, I can generate some really interesting insights. And just because, you know, spreadsheets are great, but not so visually appealing and it's hard to understand what they might actually mean. I would like to demonstrate to you this workflow that we just did so far in Infranodus itself. So when you use Infranodus, one advantage is that you have everything visualized and it's very clearly visible how things work, in fact, right under the hood. So if I do the same search AI automation here, and then I choose the Google search app. I'm going to import search results for this query. And the way Infranodus works is that it visualizes the search results as a graph. The main ideas are the nodes. Those ideas that have more influence in the discourse are bigger. And if they appear in the same clusters or co-occur together, uh, they will have the same color and will be closer to each other on the graph. Based on this representation, we can build a text network graph and a um, and apply really advanced analysis tools to show us what are the main topics, how they connect to one another, but most importantly, what are the gaps between them. So here I can see like a quick overview of the search results for AI automation. I see that the four main topics are automation platforms, artificial intelligence, community resources, and future development. But more importantly, I can also see the gaps. So what's missing and what are the topics that could be better connected? So for example, here, automation efficiency and customer engagement. And I can use the built-in AI to generate an idea based on this gap.
right? And then once I generated this idea, I could go to ChatGPT, use the O1 new model, ask this question, and then generate some idea based on this approach. So that's really amazing because you can combine all those different workflows, the visualization, the, the identification of a gap, then generation of an idea, then sending this idea back to AI to then get yourself started on thinking about a certain topic. So I find this workflow is really amazing and it helped me generate a lot of product ideas, but also texts and just general thoughts also about life and different topics as well. So I encourage you to use it. And this is exactly what's happening here. You know, we're just doing this here in bulk. So we don't have to do this manually. This all happens here automatically. And what you could even do is to add the Google Sheet, uh, no, sorry, ChatGPT here, add it into this workflow and have the content. So, so this research question, which is generated by Infernodus here, which you can actually see when you click on the operation, we have the AI advices here, right? So you can get this information here and then send it to ChatGPT, use the model that you like and generate some really interesting insights with your custom prompt or maybe even an article based on ChatGPT. So this is the advantage of using Make uh, is that you can connect all those different ideas together and then do whatever you like and create your own custom workflows. If you're an agency, for example, you could then even sell those workflows to your customers. So that's a really great tool and I'm really happy that we can now offer Infernodus inside this. Um, by the way, if you're building a custom template, you just click add and look for Infernodus here and then you will be able to use it as well. So this is how it works. This is the Google Sheet that you get with the uh, current search results for this query. By the way, here we have a so-called contextual topics and the difference from the main topics is that we remove the search terms from the graph to show you what's hiding underneath. So by default, Infernodus analyzes the whole content. And as you can see, those two AI automation keywords are quite prominent because they exist in almost all search results. So what we say is that, okay, let's hide them from the graph, recalculate everything, identify the context around the search query. And this is how you would get to this part of the table actually here, contextual topics, clusters, keywords, and so on, right? So this is how we would generate those ideas. And then if you have those ideas here, you could even use them in ChatGPT again. So you would create a new workflow and say, create an outline of an article that answers these questions. This can also be like a custom prompt that you can use. I also like to add these two topics. So this is for AI automation and text analysis. Use these topics, but connect them in an interesting way, maximizing informational gain and take particular notice of these gaps. So then I copy and paste those gaps here, right? And then ChatGPT01 will generate a whole outline of an article which I can use for inspiration or that I can feed into some other tool and generate content. So this is how it would work and this is how you could be using this data. Or you could just read them yourself and get the insights. Another really interesting workflow that we have is to generate the current demand for the topic. So it's the same keywords here. I will erase all this stuff here. So it's empty. Okay. And uh, then I go back to make. I choose uh, templates. And then I say study the current informational demand. So this is what people search for before was what they find and this is what they search for. Then I run this workflow. Um, it's the same sort of workflow, but the difference here is that data for CO gets not the search results, but the search queries for the topic. So the related search queries that you have on Google when, when Google shows you what else people search for. That gives you a really good picture of the current demand because uh, it's basically like a statistical study of the interests that people have in relation to certain topic. And as you can see, it's filling the content here. We also have topics and clusters and so on, right? So there it opens us huge possibilities for analysis. One of the workflows that I love to use in Infernodus is to overlay these two results and to say, okay, generate some ideas, 
that would focus on the difference between what people search for, so the topic demand, and the topic supply. So you could also create your custom prompts with this information. And in fact, inside Infernodus, we already have this tool. If you go to apps and then uh, analyze text content, and then you click AI automation. Actually, it's better if you use the study market one here, right? So demand versus supply, click here. And then it's going to build a graph which will overlay those two results together. So it will show you what people are searching for but don't yet find exactly here. You see free tools, okay? That is maybe quite obvious that people love free stuff. But then if you remove this, you see that business agency is something that people search for, AI automation agency business model, but they don't find. So if you want to create content that bridges this gap, you would focus on these ideas. And this is exactly what you can achieve by performing this sort of analysis. You study the topic demand and you study the topic supply, you overlay those two, either in your imagination or using ChatGPT or using Infranodus, and then you generate some really interesting ideas based on that. So this is how it would work for marketing, but you can also use it for research or for writing your own text. And one other workflow I would like to demonstrate is generating uh, research questions for scientific papers and articles. You can also generate topics and keywords for a collection of PDF documents for sorting them out. But research questions I find much more interesting because this is a really amazing workflow. Like basically what I have here is a, a folder on Dropbox, which I connected here. Uh, so it's papers on chaotic variability. Uh, I think it's 10 papers or something like this. I'm telling make.com to download the file, then convert it from PDF using an external service, and then feed all this text into uh, the app of Infranodus that generates inside questions from text, and then save the results in Google Sheets, right? So this is the Google Sheet I will actually be using, and I'll show you how it looks in a minute. So in fact, let's just make it all empty right and when you make your adjustments you just say okay i would like to use this spreadsheet you specify the idea of the name the sheet and uh already this is pre-filled like what you actually want to save and then you click run once i hope everything is connected and it's going to work you see it imported one paper now it's going to convert this pdf then it sends this PDF to Infranodus. Infranodus analyzes the whole text, the underlying topical structure, identifies the gaps, and generates a research question based on this gap. And then it saves this research question into your Google spreadsheet. So here I have the paper, Intention Chaos. It's a paper, um, I think, on intentionality and chaotic variability. And then here I have some interesting research questions in relation to this paper. So I can read through those questions and find which papers I'm interested in. I can also use this to generate uh, some ideas for further research that will bridge the gaps. And only imagine what happens if you start analyzing patterns like this. I mean, this is a whole new use case and I'm going to make another video on that because I think that will be pretty amazing. You can identify the gaps in, in existing discourse and uh, then generate product ideas and basically make patent claims for them. So. Uh, that's a little bit of a secret knowledge and we'll explore it in later videos as well. So you see the workflow is running. We already have four papers analyzed, lots of questions. If you're too lazy, you could just go to ChatGPT again in this case and be like, okay, choose the most interesting question from these. But you can also make some kind of like a custom prompt. I don't know why it's not copying here. Yeah, here, here they are. So it will just analyze those questions and then hopefully generate the most interesting question for me based on this. And I like how it's also showing you what, it's, what exactly it's doing and how it's thinking, right? So here it shows one question out of all of these papers that can be interesting. And the question says, how can the linear dynamical model integrating heteroclinic sequences and metastable states enhance our understanding of psychiatric disorders through a new methodological framework? That's great, actually. I know what it's talking about, but I know that it's connecting the ideas in those papers in the most interesting way and kind of like highlighting the actual gap between them. Uh, good luck trying to achieve the same by just uploading those 10 papers into ChatGPT and working for hours on, on finding the perfect prompt that would generate 
this here. We just uh, like pasted all of those questions, generated a very interesting idea, and now we can use this idea to generate some insights. So this is a workload that you can use for research, and I find it very interesting. And all you need to do is just a bunch of papers, Dropbox, and you can start using it. One final one that I want to show is uh, my personal little favorite. It's analyzing RSS feeds from uh, uh, all the news on AI, I think. That's what it is. So it takes some kind of news sources and everything that relates to AI. It aggregates it every 15 minutes. And then it creates uh, like a text object, sends it to Infranodus. Infranodus generates some insights and then uh, it sends me a telegram message with an interesting uh, research question that kind of motivates me to think where the trends in AI are going further. So once again, you could of course do it also with just ChatGPT, but the advantage of using Infranodus here is that it focuses on the gaps. It kind of identifies the structure of a discourse, identifies the gaps, and then focuses on this gap. So instead of writing a really complex prompt, you actually use the signs of networks in order to analyze the text structure and generate some really interesting ideas here. So there are multiple different other uses that you can do with this sort of workflow. And I encourage you to also suggest to me in the comments which ones you would be interested in because I can build them and integrate them into make.com. But I hope that you find this initial overview useful. Let me know if it was not too fast. If you want, I can do a step-by-step -step demonstration um, in another video. Otherwise, try it out on infranodos.com. That's where you can get an account. And on make.com, uh, that's where you can also start using those templates and workflows. And if you would like to get to the infranodos ones, just go to the main page of infranodos here and then click on About, API, and then Make No Code Integrations. And then you will have a page here and you can use all those integrations in your workflows. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope you enjoy using it. Please subscribe to this channel. And also, if you have any questions, comments, please leave them in the comments below. I love answering those. Thank you.